Hi, my name is Mohamed Abdul. I go by at Mabdu on Instagram, and my type of photography is I document the life and experiences that I go through. I just love taking photos of people and friends, and it's kind of like my escapism. Just rolling around London, exploring and taking photos, and I think that's what made me fall in love with it. Shoreditch should always be my place to go, and Brick Lane especially, because it's just full of culture, so many different people. It's just a place that's full of life and it's busy, so if you want to do street photography, like literally, you just have to bring your camera out and flick a button and it's all there for you. By taking photos on projects in these areas, you're keeping the history of the area alive, you're documenting it and making it aware for other people. I think it's really important to document this because in the future, this could be someone's past that you're documenting. That's what keeps history the way history is. So today we're going to be taking photos of the locals. I like to call them the unsung heroes, the people that are the living and breathing life of Brick Lane. I feel like a lot of people come take photos of the architecture and exterior but they forget about the interior, the people that actually made this place and the stories that they tell, because without them, Brickling wouldn't be Brickling. Brickling is firstly and foremost the Indian, Bengali, Pakistani community and culture here. They don't want to make it up from all the curry houses that everybody loves and adores, from the textiles to the food stores to even the Taj store where you can buy cultural food. You know, every time there's a cricket game going on, the streets are going to be booming. Whenever there's like a giant thing happening at the mosque, whether it's a funeral or a marriage, the whole street's crazy. It's a perfect hotspot. Brick Lane is the first wave of the Indians and Pakistanis when they first came to the UK. So I think this place is for their culture and they're the ones that make Brick Lane what it is today. One thing I like about it is the whole community supports, regardless if you're from India, Bangladesh, Somalia, Jamaica, Nigeria, everyone supports them and helps each other. There's a lot of similarities between the cultures, between their food and their people, but they are all different. They all have their own customs, they all have their own traditions. I think it's very important to know that before you do something. Because if someone called you something that you aren't, that's just disrespectful. So please be respectful at all times, do your research and be aware of someone's culture. Go eat some food, go talk to some locals, like actually enjoy it as if you are living there. You're a human being capable of achieving anything. And I think with photography is like the more you do it, the more you can see growth and progress. So please don't be afraid to make failures because you will learn quicker from your failures. The only person that will stop you is yourself.